capsular bag reopening and PCIO implantation in long standing aphakia with anterior capsular phimosis in a child. The prevalence of childhood cataracts have been reported as 1 to 15 per 10,000 children. Estimates suggest that more than 2 lakh children globally are blind owing to bilateral cataracts. Childhood cataract associated blindness should be treated as soon as possible for complete visual maturation. Cataract surgery is the procedure of choice in the present era. Post cataract surgery childhood aphakia poses a major threat to the vision of the child. Early correction with either glasses, contact lenses or intraocular lens IOL implantation are the available methods of treatment and restoration of vision. Implantation of the IOL at the time of cataract surgery has become the standard of care for children over 2 years of age, although controversy still exists for children below the age of 12 months. This is because of the small dimension of the infant eye with a small capsular bag, decreased scleral rigidity, increased tissue reactivity and rapid growth changes in the eye. Presently, most surgeons prefer to implant hydrophobic acrylic IOLs in children. These lenses are flexible, durable, lightweight and relatively inert. Such lenses have slow unfolding action which allows for a more controlled insertion and manipulation. In this child, bilateral primary cataract surgery with phaco aspiration was performed 2 years ago at the age of 6 months. Posterior capsule was left intact during primary surgery. Adequate posterior capsular polishing was performed and visual rehabilitation was given through glasses. In this video, we show our technique of reopening the fibrosed capsular bag which has associated anterior capsular phimosis. This is followed by in the bag implantation of single piece foldable hydrophobic acrylic posterior chamber IUL. Important to note at this point is that a posterior continuous curvilinear capsular axis with anterior vitrectomy is generally advised during primary cataract surgery. But as seen in this case, a good posterior capsular polishing by an experienced surgeon during primary cataract surgery has prevented development of posterior capsular obesification even after 2 years of surgery. The visco-adaptive ophthalmic visco-surgical device OVD was injected into the capsular bag through the phimosed opening of anterior capsule and with gentle side-to-side -side movement, the anterior and the posterior capsular layers were separated. Due to presence of fibrosis, the anterior capsule was given a cut at 7 o'clock with vanas forcep. Capsular axis was initiated with the uterata forcep in the anti-clockwise direction. Capsular axis could not be completed as adhesions between the anterior and the posterior capsule were recognized superiorly. Axis pull could have led to zonular dialysis or capsular tear. Two side ports were made at 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock. Bimanual irrigation aspiration was performed with a low aspiration setting. Primary aim was to release the adhesions only with irrigation. Care has to be taken not to aspirate the capsular axis margin. This allowed complete separation of the anterior and posterior capsules. Adequate polishing of posterior capsule was done to prevent PCO formation. After reforming anterior chamber with OVD, the single piece hydrophobic acrylic foldable PCIL with a power of 29 diopters was inserted via the 2.6 mm limbal tunnel. The slow unfolding action of the hydrophobic IUL helps the surgeon to manipulate and align the IUL with superior comfort and least tension on the capsular bag. This IUL is highly flexible and the haptics can be very smoothly maneuvered into the capsular bag. The fibrosed anterior capsule was pierced with a micro retinal blade to make an opening and then incised with a vanas forcep at different clock hours.
the capsular tag was removed subsequently. Complete removal of OVD was performed with irrigation and aspiration. Excellent stability of IOL in the capsular bag was observed which proves the capsular bag integrity. Further, gentle irrigation under the IOL was performed to completely clear the capsular bag of any OVD or debris. The anterior chamber was formed with air and limbal section was secured with 10-0 nylon suture. It is technically challenging to attempt to reopen a capsular bag which has associated anterior capsular phimosis especially after few years of cataract surgery in children. Gentle surgical care in skillful hands can lead to excellent results as evident here. Capsular bag is a mysterious but a friendly intraocular structure. It is extremely elastic and fragile yet enough tough to let the surgeon perform various manipulations such as reopening of the bag, release of adhesions, enlargement of capsular axis, posterior capsular polishing and in the bag implantation of posterior chamber IOL.